<clears throat> Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Hello, Victor. It's good to have you here. Um, it's good to start and having you here in class. We are going to wait just a couple of minutes for people to come, right? So, um, how are you advancing in the platform, Victor? Are you okay with the topic? I okay, teacher. I okay. Excellent. Uh, the section five. You're on, in section five now. Okay, that's Perfect. great. Excellent. Thank so you. you are advancing even a little bit faster maybe than the other people, but that's good. Remember that in case you have doubt about any topic uh, or any exercise, you can call me or I mean write to me to the WhatsApp group and I can solve or whatever if you want to. Um, or, or just in case you want to talk about uh, individually, if you don't want to send the, the question to the group, you can do it individually, okay? Okay. Excellent. We are going to wait for people to come in order to start. Uh, we are going to complete today's section number four, and we are going to start with the vocabulary of the first part of section number five, okay? Okay. Excellent. So we are going to wait a couple of minutes for people coming. Hello, Vladimir. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, Vladimir. We are waiting a couple of minutes for people to join us, okay? okay. So just, just a minute, and then we are going to start with the presentation of the 4.10 lesson objective and continue with the class, okay? Okay. Thank you for being early. I'm just sending a reminder to students. Okay, I sent a reminder. So let's see. <laughs> okay, hello, welcome. My dear, let's see, Vicky. Hello, teacher. Welcome. It's good to have you here, my dear Vicky. Okay. So one more minute in order for people to, to start okay. coming. Okay. Okay, can you watch my screen, my dears? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Okay, I'm just answering people that is reporting they are at work so they won't be able to connect. Okay, we are going to start in honor to you that uh, come early. <clears throat> so good evening, everybody. It's a pleasure to have you here uh, for today. Uh, we are going to continue with the 4.10 lesson objective that says by the end of this class, you will learn, you will read and discuss an article about special foods developed and develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Scanning is basically <clears throat> when you try to read an article in such a way that you uh, fast understand it, right? Uh, you have a reading and comprehension skill, but sometimes when we don't know many words of that article, it's very difficult to do uh, and scanning of the article because there's a lot of words that you don't understand and that's why it becomes a little bit difficult. So the idea of doing this exercise is that you can precisely identify those new words for you and that you can look it up in a dictionary and that you can find the meanings. Remember that in English, 
uh, we can have different meanings for, a, for a, um, only one word. So that's why it's important that you can um, expand your knowledge, expand your vocabulary by looking for the meaning of the words that you don't know. So that's the, the purpose of this activity. So in this case, it says eating for good luck, right? Eating for good luck. So in this case, in the video, they are talking about uh, traditions, right? It says some Chinese people eat uh, tangerines. Remember that a tangerine can be called mandarin, right? Again, mandarin as in Spanish, but tangerines are round, uh, round foods and, uh, and, and begin again. So uh, like years, so they give a special meaning to tangerines when they are celebrating a Chinese uh, New Year. So in Jewish culture, for example, they ha they um, it's a custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet New Year, right? Uh, for example, the Greek people and they used to eat insert a coin into a bread, right? Uh, so everybody that is eating the bread try to find the coin because it means that they are going to have a good luck in the new year. Uh, for example, in some uh, Latin American countries, they say that uh, for New Year celebration, it is important to have um, grapes. And people is used to eat 12 grapes, like to have a good luck in every month of the year. So all of them are traditions, right? Customs of each country. Uh, in, in the video, you can learn more about different cultures, right? And what they prefer to eat for uh, different uh, special occasions and mainly for a uh, Christmas and New Year celebration, right? For example, in El Salvador, it's very common to eat tamales, right? Um, or uh, bread stuffed with chicken and tomato sauce, right? For the New Year celebration or, or for Christmas. Uh, it's a very traditional uh, meal uh, in our country. In other countries, maybe it could be turkey or meat, whatever. So those are traditions. So um, in here, that um, basically uh, talks about New, New Day, New Year's Day in Japan. People eat a uh, mochi, which is a rice cake for strength in New Year. So they uh, use uh, rice in very uh, traditional meals from Japan, so they use it also for a special meal for New Year. And some Americans from the south southern states eat a uh, black-eyed peas and rice with colored um, greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars, so they relate the food with having money in the new year. So those are traditions. <clears throat> and uh, then you have the question in the, in the knowledge check. It says, some Chinese people eat tangerines. tangerines. Tangerines are round, sweet, or acid. So according to the reading, if you go back to the reading, it doesn't mention the other two words. It says round, right? They don't mention sweet, they don't mention <clears throat> acid. So if you see, uh, you can discard the other two words because they are not mentioned in the reading. So the right answer is round. Some Jewish people eat apples with syrup, candy, or honey for a sweet year. If you go back <clears throat> again to the article, you don't see the word apple, even though you have the drawing of an apple there, but there's no... And it says, yes, it says, but they say with honey, right? It doesn't say um, syrup, it doesn't say uh, candy. Greek, Greeks eat basilop, basilopita bread with a bean, a rice, or a coin. So the right answer is a coin inside, right? And the number four, it says in Spain, people eat 12 grapes for good luck in the new year. So if you see, if you do this tradition, it comes from Spain. Uh, the Japanese eat rice cake for strength in the new year. Some Americans eat black-eyed peas 
black eyes uh, or black eye peas are like coins, right? Coins. So if you go back here to the reading, it says um, black eye peas and rice with uh, color greens. The black eye peas are like coins. Are like means son como o parecen, ¿verdad? Coins, monedas. So they are similar. They find a relation with the black eye peas and the coins. Okay, um, so that's the part of the knowledge check. And then with this, we are going to finish the section number four and we are ready to start the section number five. So I'm going to start today with the section number five because I would like to have the chance to um, <clears throat> help you and try to solve uh, some parts of the final exam. So I'm going to just advance and give you more practice with the section number five. So um, it says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the US and Canada, right? So um, we are going to have a, a video in a platform that says sports and seasons, right? So we are going to talk about the sports that people usually uh, play during different seasons of the year. Uh, we are advanced a little bit more uh, on 5.2 that says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in real life situations. So we are going to go again with the WH questions. So, but before that, we are going to have some vocabulary related to seasons and sports. So I'm going to stop sharing this and I will go to the presentation that I have for you tonight. And here, for example, I have uh, words related to different seasons of the year. Uh, so let me hide myself here and expand the view. Okay, some very common spring words. Uh, remember that we are going to talk about the four seasons of the year that we have in different countries. In El Salvador, we only have dry season that goes from October to April, and we have the rainy season that goes from May to, um, let's see, maybe to September, right? Uh, so we, we don't have four seasons of the year, we just have two. But in other countries, they have four seasons and they have a different vocabulary that is common for those. So for example, in the countries that have a spring, they use many words like holiday, rainbow, rain, bird, bee, butterfly, flowers, nest, grass, and everything is related to, um, to flowers sprout because uh, that's what happened in spring. Um, then uh, in the summertime, we use vocabulary like beach, uh, campina, uh, and we have also some words for uh, summertime. For example, for autumn, let's continue with autumn and then we will go to summer. We have apple harvest, pumpkins, Halloween, uh, they, back to, they go back to school, uh, they have the corn harvest, the acorns harvest, and the falling leaves from the trees. And they become from green to yellow and from yellow to reddish. Um, okay, about the summertime. In the summertime, we can have a word like sun, beach ball, sand toys, coconut palm, deck chair, Sand castle, uh, beach vendor, bikini, swim trunks, visitors, beach umbrella, canoe, flip flop, hat, googles, clothes, sunglasses, and so on. So we have a different vocabulary. So what about sports? Uh, we have some. I have here some uh, names or vocabulary of extreme sports, right? Extreme sports. They are not very common. And if you see, there's necessary to have some uh, weather conditions in some seasons of the year to practice them. 
For example, we have aggressive inline skating, uh, base jumping, bungee jumping, free climbing, bouldering, sandboarding, motocross, mountain biking, rock climbing, mountaineering, hand gliding, skydiving, paragliding, sand uh, kiting. Uh, we have here some skiing, scuba diving, uh, water skiing, right? Uh, so those are very not uh, uncommon sports. They, they are uh, not all the people practice them because of the risk sometimes. Uh, here we have more sky, dive, skate, ride a horse, ride my bike, skip, sail, rollerblade, surf, surf the net. Imagine that this is considered now a sport. <laughs> so it's very, I don't know. Uh, clean, swim, play the guitar, play the violin, play the piano, sing a song, jump, play tennis, play football, play basketball. Uh, these are like the most common we practice in our region, right? So now it's time uh, for you to practice in the conversation. So I would like that you can discuss what is your favorite season of the year, right? What sports do you practice in summer or vacation time? What do you do in December holidays? What do you do in August vacation? And what do you usually do in Easter? Remember that Easter is what we know as Semana Santa, right? That's Easter. So the idea is that you can use some of the vocabulary related to sports and some vocabulary related to seasons of the year. Uh, so, I would like to know if you have any question about these uh, questions. ¿Tenemos preguntas acerca de lo que vamos a realizar? No. Okay, remember that this space is for you to practice, right? Right, the idea is that I speak less than, uh, than you, right? Because uh, you need to practice a little bit more and uh, take advantage that you have your classmates here and that you can uh, speak a little bit more. Okay, so if there's no doubt, I'm going to stop sharing. I already sent you the image of the questions to the, uh, I mean, to the WhatsApp group. And now it's time to go to the breakout rooms. So we are going to have four breakout rooms and I expect that you can discuss these questions and that you can provide at least one answer to each question, right? So let me join and create the rooms. So please uh, accept the invitation when you receive it now. Hello, Natalia. How are you today? I would like to invite you to the breakout rooms. I'll send you the invitation now. Pero igual me logré conectar, así que hay que, hay que ver cómo las la respondemos. El primero dice: ¿Cuál es tu favorito? 
Hello, hello. Where? Hello, teacher. Okay? Uh, Do you have questions? En este caso, yeah. teacher, sería este como lo que nosotros hacemos, verdad? Ya repartido entre los tres compañeros. Yes. Uh, the idea is that you can ask uh, one question and you can answer at least one question. So you can divide the questions, right? Okay, teacher. Yeah, for example, let me, let me see. Uh, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five questions, right? So you can take uh, two questions each and one person can take one question, for example. Yeah? Okay, teacher. Yeah, it's okay, like teacher. the idea is that all of you can, can talk, right? And that you can talk about the seasons of the year and the sports do you practice. Okay. Okay, excellent. I don't expect long answers, but I would like that you can speak the most you can. So we are going to have like five minutes for this activity, right? Uh, give, giving one minute per, per, acti per question to discuss. Okay, teacher. Okay, excellent. See you in a minute. Yeah. Hello, is everything okay here? Hello, teacher. Participants? It's okay, teacher. Okay, excellent. See you in a minute. Okay. The church. ¿Cómo se dice mango? Quiero ver. Quiero ver. Oh. Mango, mango, mango es mango. Mango, mango. Mango. Sí. Mango. 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 Oh, mango. Mango. <laughs> Son yeah. palabras que a veces no, ex, no están en el idioma inglés, ¿verdad? Dicho? No, because they are typical uh, fruits from other regions. For example, papaya is papaya, mango is mango. And it's, the example, it's the same for typical food El Salvador. Yes, you cannot translate pupusa, for example. Torrejas. Uh, you cannot and translate chipilín. So you may explain, for example, if you say, uh, would you like to eat some um, chipilín tamales? They say, what is a chipilín tamal? So you have to explain, right? A chipilín tamal is a mixture of uh, corn flour and that you mix uh, cheese, some cheese and some chipilín, which are uh, traditional leaves uh, of the region that have a very good smell and taste. So you have to describe the dish because there's nothing similar. Right? Yeah, it's, it's very regional. Okay. okay, do okay. you have uh, extra questions? No, in this moment. Okay, excellent. I leave you to visit the other room and I'll come back later, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Sure, I go to the shore. Hello. Is everything okay here? No. Teacher, yes. pregunta. Sí, en, en la parte de, uh -huh. que hacemos en la fiesta de diciembre, uh -huh. estábamos diciendo, no sé si está bien, I got to visit my parents, y si queremos decir que compartimos con ellos. Eh, you can say pues, yeah. I like to visit my parents and share with them our vacation share with them. Them, uh, for Christmas and New Year's Eve. Okay. Or you can say we, sh we you can say we can we like to share some special food for the occasion, but it's share okay. or spend. Yes, you can say share with them, or you can say spend time with my parents. Share with them. Or spend, Puede ser. spend time es como pasar tiempo con ellos. Spend time with my parents. Puede ser share, share with my family. 
Yes, to share with my family. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Excellent. Do you have extra questions? No? Everything okay? No. no. Okay, excellent. See you in a minute, right? Okay. Okay. Hello, Morenita. Good evening. How are you today? Can you hear me, Morenita? Hi. Hello. Hi. Okay. Hello. Welcome, Morenita. Um, were you in class previously or are you just, uh, just coming right now? No, I saw, I see why a little part, because, but I uh, have a problem with my Wi-Fi. Okay, don't worry. We can work together here, okay? Okay. Okay, Morenita, what is your favorite season of the year? Uh, my favorite season is the summer. Excellent. Uh, my favorite season of the year is the summer too, right? Because I can go to the beach and, yeah. and it's a little bit uh, better than the rainy season here in El Salvador. And what sports do you practice in summertime, Morenita? Uh, I don't not practice uh, one uh, uh, an sport, but I work out. You go to the gym, uh, or you work uh, yeah, out? I, go, uh, I go, work out at the gym. Yeah, uh, in in this moment, I work out in my house. Uh, I know. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes every day. Excellent. I congratulate you because it's not easy to have a routine, especially when we are not uh, in a place where we have social pressure, right? Yeah. And being at home, it's like, if you want, you, you do, and if you don't, so I congratulate you because it's, uh, it's good for your health. And yes, I it's, know. it's scientifically tested and, and proved that uh, people that exercise and work out, uh, they even uh, don't suffer depression. And their, uh, and their body defenses are higher than the people that yes, don't do yes, any, ex any sport or exercise or workout every day. That's yes. right. I am, I am 54 years old and in this moment I don't know, I don't know how a high pressure. Excellent. I am healthy. I congratulate I you. <laughs> Excellent. Congratulations. In my case, I'm very sedentary, I'm sorry to tell you, but, uh, so I don't practice. I try to do some sport with my little girl as uh -huh. time allows me, but I, I know that I need to do more. <laughs> 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 Excellent. And Morenita, what do you do in December holidays? Um, cook in, in, in Christmas. Yeah, for or, Christmas. Uh, Cooking a uh, turkey. Okay, you uh, cook turkey cooking, and special dish. Cooking, yeah, and um, uh, spend time with my family. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. Only because uh, uh, I have bad memories. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> and that's the most, uh, well, uh, spending time with family is the best you can do for that season, right? Yeah, and yeah, because I remember my mother, uh, she passed away two years ago, but I am how... Yeah, I know, you remember when, when you remember her, and it's uh -huh. normal, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, so uh, in August vacation, in a normal time, because in this time it's impossible, right? But yeah. in a normal time, what do you usually do? Um, I like travel. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I like travel. Um, when I can, yes, I visit... Uh, 
some parents in Panama. Ah, Panama is a beautiful country. Yes. And I they have a lot of commerce, right? Yeah. And it's uh, affordable. Uh, you can buy. You can yes, buy. Yes, it's uh, the, the uh, fragrance and the cloth is okay or wear? Yeah, you can say clothes in general and uh, uh -huh. it's very right? cheap. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, Morenita, uh, thank you for sharing. I need to come back the people uh, to join us uh, to the main room, okay? Okay. So let me... Let me go back to breakout rooms and call the people. So we say welcome to Claudia Lisette. Uh, thank you for being here in class, Claudia. We are uh, completing an exercise uh, with uh, Morena. And the other people was in the breakout rooms doing the same. So I will uh, start the plenary to see what they talk about during the breakout rooms. So let me share the questions, the guide questions we have. And here they are. Okay, okay, Claudita, don't worry. I just was explaining a little bit what was the conversation with Morenita about. Okay, so um, remember that we are uh, practicing a vocabulary about the favorite seasons of the year and we are, we are talking about uh, sports, right? So we are um, trying to use the vocabulary we recently uh, practiced. So um, the guide questions for this conversation was, where? What is your favorite season of the year? What sports do you practice in summer or vacation time? What do you do in December holidays? What do you do in August vacation? And what do you usually do in Easter? So uh, I went to the different breakout rooms and I finished uh, uh, practicing with Morena here in the uh, main room because he had some connection problems, but now we are all together. So I would like to ask uh, which group would like to start? Eh, ¿A qué grupo le gustaría comenzar? Let's see, let's see. Volunteerly. Sí, de Vladimir. Ok, Vladimir. Sí. De Vladimir. You can do the dynamic as you did in your group in order that you feel comfortable to share the questions and the answers you, you practice or you speak about, right? And you talk about, I mean. Eh, Cada uno nos podemos hacer una pregunta. ¿no? Yes. ¿Para no estar tan largo? Yes. Sí. Ok. Um, yo le pregunto a Janari. Ok. Eh, ok. What, what sport do you practice in summer or vacation time? I practice ride a bike. Ok. To ride uh, a bike. To ride a bike. Yes. Ah, ok. Uh, 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 Natalia? Yes. Natalia? Ahí está. Ahí está, ahí está. Okay. What do you do in December holidays? I spend time with my family. Okay. Now you can ask a question to your classmates, Natalia. You can yes. uh, send back the question. Vladimir, what is your favorite season of the year? Uh, my favorite season is a summer. It's summer. It's, it's summer. It's summer. Okay. And can you tell us why? Why is your favorite season? Hola. Eh, why? ¿Por qué le gusta ah. el verano? Why, is ah, your no. why summer is your favorite season? Mm, quiero ver, ¿cómo sería? Mm, hay, eh, porque visito la playa, ¿cómo sería? Because I, go, because ah, I because. like to go to the beach. Ah, así. Yes. Uh, yes. Because I like, to, I I like, like to, go I, to go to the beach. ¿Solo to go beach o to go to 
to, to the, the beach. To the beach, yes. To the beach, ah, okay. Yes. Because I go to the, I, because I like because to, Pucha, que otra vez, mira. No, I like, primero, I like, sí. I like because, because I, I like go to the beach. Yes. yes. Sí. Okay. Yes. Excellent, that's okay. Excellent, very good. Uh, so, thank you very much, team. You did a great job by trying to ask and answer these questions. So, who else? Who's the next team? Remember that this is your time for practicing your speaking and correct some pronunciation issues that we may have. Let's see, maybe Monica, Monica's team. Hello. Hello. Con Raquel y Cindy. Yeah. Uh, I guess I, like. Raquel, what is your favorite season of the year? And my favorite season of the year is winter. Um, yo la segunda. What sport do you practice in summer or vacation time? Contesto yo? Sí, Cindy. Um, I don't practice anything sport. Any, any sport. Any sport. Yes. Okay. okay. La siguiente para que responda Monica. What do you do in December holiday? I like visit my parents. To visit, to visit my parents. I, I like to visit my parents. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you do in uh, August? Raquel, what do you, okay. what do you do in August vacation? Um, I go to the beach in vacation. Okay, vacation, excellent. Vacation. Yes. Okay. Do you have an extra question or that's it? No. Okay, excellent team, congratulations. Excellent, you were able to uh, ask and answer uh, using the guide questions. So now let's see. Um, Cindy, Cindy's team, would you like to continue? Hola. Hola Cindy, hello. Who was your team, Cindy? La, Acabamos de hacerlo con Cindy, teacher. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, let's see. Uh, see, Adonai, Adonai, did you? Okay, Victor. Victor is raising hands. Go ahead, Victor. Eh, con Joao y no recuerdo cómo se llamaba el otro. Eh, Luis, Luis. Okay. <laughs> okay. Eh, Joao, Luis, Luis and Victor. Okay, you can yes. start. Please, go ahead. It's your time. Uh, okay. What is your favorite season of the year, uh, Joao? Uh, my favorite season is summer because uh, it's beautiful. Okay. Ahora voy con Luis. What sport do you practice in the summer or vacation time? I play. I play soccer. Ahora usted, Victor, pregúntale a Luis. Okay, Luis. Uh, what do you do in August vacation? What do you do in August? My my friend and I and, and I like to the to go to the beach. Okay. Do you have extra uh, questions, my dear? <laughs> uh, Victor. <laughs> Okay. okay. Okay, there's a question for you, Victor. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Victor, don't what, run, don't what run do you... away, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> what well, do you usually do in teacher cómo se pronuncia? Uh -huh. La última palabra de la quinta oración? Easter. Easter. Ah, okay. Yes, Easter. Thanks. What do you do usually do in the Easter? Uh, I usually stay at home. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, team. You did a great job asking and answering questions about your favorite season, your favorite sports, and what do you do in those special seasons of the year.
So I would like to ask if Adonai Portillo already participated. Adonai yes, too? teacher. Yes, yes right. Yes, right okay. now. Let's see. Elizabeth and, and Vicky. E excellent. Okay. Elizabeth make a question and Vicky and I an answer. Excellent. Okay. So, what is your favorite season of the year? My favorite season is summer because I don't like the raining. What sport do you practice in the summer or vacation time? I don't practice any sport. What do you do in December holiday? I usually stay at home with my family. What do you do in August vacation? I go to the beach and I eat a lot of fruit. What do you usually do in, in Easter? I always eat torrejas in Easter. Oh, okay, delicious. thanks. That's all, teacher. Okay, thank you, my dear participants. I think that almost all groups have participated. Only is missing Raquelita, no, Morenita and me. So we are going to participate also. But I need to do some corrections in general for the groups, right? Let's repeat. Favorite. 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 Eh, vamos a repetir todos. Ustedes lo pueden hacer sin quitarse el micrófono para que no se oiga eh, la interrupción. Pero sí, por favor, les pido que repeat after me, please. Favorite. Favorite. Season. Season. Year, year, sports. Remember that sometimes in Spanish we try to add a letter E and we say e sports, but this is not the right way to pronounce. I know that it's difficult sometimes to pronounce an S with another consonant, like the case of sport because you have an S and a P. But you have to think that you are going to say C, like in Spanish. So you say sports, okay? Practice, practice, summer, summer, vacation, vacation, vacation time, vacation time, December holidays, holidays, August vacation, vacation, Easter, Easter, okay? And in order to sound more, na more natural, you can ask a little bit fluid. What do you usually do in Easter? What do you, what do you, as a what do you, you can like join and do it more fluid. What do you, do you, what do you usually do in Easter? What do you usually do in Easter? I know that it's difficult because you end with you and start with you. What do you usually do in Easter? But you can do it, okay? Excellent. Uh, so, Morenita, would you like to practice with me? Okay. Okay, my, uh, my dear. I will ask you one question and you ask me one uh, question, right? Okay, Morenita, okay. what is your favorite season of the year? Uh, my favorite season is the summer. Excellent. And now you can ask me. What sport do you practice in summer or by vacation time? Sorry, I don't practice any sport, but I like to go to the beach uh, in summer or vacation time. Morenita, Me what too. do you do? Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> I love it. What do you do in December holidays? Uh, I spend time with my family. Okay, excellent. Now you can ask me. What do you in August vacation? In August vacation, I normally visit my family in the countryside. And what uh, do you usually do in Easter time? I go to the beach. Excellent. Yeah, that's a in, very, it's a very nice. Yeah, Oh. It's, it's like a, it's a Semana Santa. Yes, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Excellent, thank you very much. There's nobody else missing, right? No se me quedó nadie de la práctica, ¿verdad? Creo que ya estábamos todos. Me disculpo si alguien más se me quedó, pero creería que no. Okay, let's continue. Um, 
with the next uh, slide, uh, some other words related to sports that I would like to show you is this one. But let me, okay. Uh, athletics, athletics. That's a, um, a word related or a, a vocabulary related with uh, sports. They are compound nouns because they are compound of two words. For example, basketball, they are two words. You have basket and ball, but they join and say the name of a sport. Cycling football, golf, rugby, skiing, swimming, table tennis, champion, club, instructor, match, player, season, stadium, team, tournament, trophy, right? All of them are words related to uh, sports. Okay, here I have uh, other words related to weather, for example, uh, words related to uh, rain, we have a drizzle, showers, rain, downpour, flow. Uh, what I would like to, that you can do is that you can, um, you will receive this material uh, today. Today I will upload and I would like that you can look for the new words, right? I need that you look for the new words uh, and that you can uh, repeat them until you can memorize because um, the idea is that you can expand your vocabulary, right? So you have those new words and you can start repeating and also creating new sentences using these words. Uh, for cold, for example, we have a uh, hail, sleet, snow, snowflake, blizzard. For temperature, you can have hot, warm, cool, cold, freezing. Uh, for clouds, you can have cloudy, gloomy, foggy, overcast, clear. Uh, for wind, you have uh, words like breezy, blustery, windy, gale, hurricane. For, uh, and you can add other vocabulary, for example, forecast, drought, lightning, thunder, and rainbow. So this is new vocabulary related to weather, okay? So um, I'm going to stop sh uh, sharing this and I would like to go back to the uh, platform in order that you can see the, um, okay, that we can go back to the next part that was, uh, 5.2, right? In the 5.2, basically, uh, we are going to talk about uh, learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions, right? Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in real life settings. So if you see, today we started the vocabulary about seasons and sports. We practice a conversation and in that conversation, we use the word what. For example, when we say, what is your favorite season of the year? What's your favorite sport? Um, what do you usually do on vacation? What do you usually do um, for Christmas? And whatever, we are using a WH question. So when we use a WH question, normally we expect more information, right? For example, here in the video, uh, you will see that uh, they uh, provide you some examples, right? Uh, for example, what sports do you play? Uh, the question that we did in the conversation what, uh, was, what sports do you play uh, during summer or vacation? That was the question you answered. In the example, the question is, what sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? So if you see here, we are introducing who, where, how often, when, and what time, right? So as you know, what means que, who, quien, where, donde, how often, eh, que tan a menudo, o que tan frecuente, verdad? Eh, when, eh, cuando, what, what time, eh, a que horas, verdad? So what I recommend you is to go to the platform to watch this video and try to 
uh, pronounce the way the video, uh, the way the person in the video do, right? In order that you can sound natural. For example, what sports do you play? Who do you play baseball with? Uh, if you see here, uh, when we use the WH word who, we ask, we normally use with in order to complete the question. Who do you play baseball with? The answer, I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? Remember that when you're using WH words, um, it's a question and therefore you have to give the intonation of the question. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. So if you see the structure here, we have the WH word, what, who, where, how, how often, is it, when, what time, and so, Let's see, I'm going to mute you. Lo voy a poner en mute, chicos, para que nos podamos escuchar mejor. Ok, está un poquito mejor. Ok, perfecto. Ok. Um, so we have the WH word plus do or does. Remember that in the simple present, we use do for the subject pronouns I, you, we, and they but we use does for he, she, it. So depending on the subject, you use it. For example, here, since the question is, uh, what do you, when do you, where do you, how often do you, there's no problem, do you, do you. But if I ask for a third person, for example, what sports does she like? In that case, I have to use does because I'm talking about a third person. Even though the structure is the same, WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus the complement. Uh, for example, uh, if here I change and I say, where does he play? Does he? Where does he play? How often uh, does it play or does it practice? Right? Uh, talking about uh, an animal being trained on some sport, for example. How often does it practice? So um, you have to follow the rule of using the auxiliary do or does, even though it's a WH question, you have to use the do or does, right? Normally, when we don't have a WH word question, we start with the auxiliary. For example, do you like sport? But in that case, the question is a yes, no question. Why is a yes, no question? Because I just have two possible answers. Yes, I love sports or yes, I like sports or no, I don't like sports. But when I ask what, what sports do you play? What sports do you like? I expect that you can give me more information, right? That you can say, for example, I like to play basketball. I love to play soccer. I love to swim. I like uh, go by, to go biking, etc. So uh, that's the difference between a WH word question and a yes no question. But in, in, in both cases, you have to respect the use of the auxiliary do or I, you, we and they, and does for he, she, it, okay? So, um, here, um, let, me, let me advance with this knowledge check, even though we are going to advance with this, even though Monday we are going to continue with the WH question words, right? Uh, because of the time we are going to stop Por el tiempo, vamos a solo revisar el, el knowledge check. Uh, for next Monday, we are going to continue uh, working with more WH questions and with the speaking practice, okay? So in this case, if you see, there's a conversation and uh, there are two people uh, talking about sports. So one person is asking, 
what I watch sports and it says I watch sport on television every weekend right really says the other the other person what sports do you do you like to watch if you see here they are using a wh word you are using the auxiliary do for the subject you what sports do you like to watch soccer it's my favorite set so uh, in the exercise you have to look for the best wh word that fits in the question so here it says when do you usually watch soccer right so when uh, then the conversation continues and it says on sunday afternoons he says on sunday afternoons and where do you usually watch it at home and the person answers no at my friend's house if you see here we have a possessive at my friend's house in la casa de mi amigo ¿no? he has a really big television then we have a second conversation and the dynamic is that you have to look for the wh word that best fits okay so do you have questions so far tenemos preguntas hasta aquí no teacher okay excellent so what uh, what i expect you to do from this weekend is that you can go to the platform and that you can complete all the exercise until section number four right if you can advance a little bit more to section number five that's going to be great but basically what i need you to do is to go to the platform and start completing all the exercises because if not you will feel like you have a lot of work to do at the end because remember that um, this is our third week we are finishing this week so we just have next week in order to complete the section number five and the midterm exam and to have a fast uh, general review of the topics that uh, you would like to have extra feedback from the course so i recommend you uh, to finish all pendings until at least until section number four this weekend okay uh, remember that if you have any doubt or question you can write to me uh, through the whatsapp group or if you don't want to do it in the whatsapp group you can contact me and we can solve any difficulty or problem you may have okay thank you teacher. thank you teacher. okay, okay thank, you, my teacher. Dear. thank you very much for coming Please safe i hope to see you on monday okay and bye teacher. teacher good Have night nice you will bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Okay. Bye. 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 bye bye